welcome to my youtube channel guys today we're going to unbox and program this Dixel XR 30 CX and this model guys is intended only for chiller setting and it's not applicable for freezer setting because it has only one sensor which is the room sensor and take note guys for the freezer freezer uh, it must have a room and evaporator sensor and our chiller setting is between 1 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius and this is under HACCP standard okay and here is is what it looks like inside guys this is our Dixel XR 30CX and 11 and 12 is for the probe sensor 1 is line 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 and 8 is our supply here guys and terminal number 5 is our compressor while 4 is line together with the number 1 and 2 is normally close no 3 is normally close and 2 is normally open and if you're gonna use the output reader of this one just supply the terminal number one okay and terminal number three is normally closed if you supply the one it has a contact with the terminal number two so you can use light or the evaporator fan motor in this situation so here's my diagram guys so the terminal number four is aligned together with the terminal number one okay and five is compressor so i'm gonna make a supply here so between seven four and one should be connected in series and that will be our line that is live okay and terminal number eight is our neutral here so as easy as that guys but in reality if you gonna install this in walk-in chiller or in the commercial refrigerator it has a little bit a uh, little bit difficulties because it has a terminal and it has a contactor so on and so on so just focus guys for the beginner you need this setup okay and for those who work with the rack which is the refrigeration and air conditioning for a long time now this is easy for you guys okay because i've met a lot of technician because your story is a blogger they are now working abroad but they still need my advice that's why they come to my channel and seek advice and i receive a pm to them but later i realized that if i'm gonna answer them privately they only the one uh, they are only one to uh, gain knowledge so I stop answering them guys so let's start it guys so let's wire this one and this is our NTC sensor and NTC sensor guys is a non polarity so we can install this uh, interchangeably between the terminal number 11 and 12 okay so just insert this one guys while programming so that the p1 error will not uh, intervene us okay so i'm gonna install this one and no p1 error will be uh intervene while we are going to program this one guys and by the way i uploaded this guys uh one year ago and i've noticed that even the uh technician in the united states and in United Arab, United Arab Emirates are watching me and I'm sorry guys because I, I use Tagalog in my previous upload so I re-upload this one guys and I'm trying my best to speak your language up there and thank you for your support by the way I gain less than 100 subscribers by this video and I earn around 30 dollar for this i'm sorry guys if you notice that there is an advertisement showing in my video 
So your support is my strength. <laughs> Thank you guys and God bless. And by the way, I'm now supplying an AC plug for the terminal number 7 and number 8. Okay. And I'm going to connect a series connection with the terminal number 1 and terminal number 4. Okay. I repeat, if you're gonna use the normally close and normally open for the output relay for the 1, 2, 3 terminal, just supply the terminal number 1. And you can use the normally uh, close with this terminal number 3 for light or for the evaporator fan motor. Okay, guys, if you're gonna use the fan motor together with, if you want to run the fa evaporator fan motor together with be the compressor, no problem. But for bigger, for example, in walking chiller, that is a tunnel tunnel, 3 HP from 2 HP, going to tunnel tunnel, gonna use. Uh, you should use um, contactor with overload guys okay because our output relay for this control is only 8 amper and 8 amper can handle up to 1 horsepower do not over 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 load the output relay otherwise it burn up okay so that's the purpose of our contact contactor with relay for the compressor okay so I have previously uploaded a lot of videos on how to use contactor so just browse my my channel guys and learn something okay and now I'm connecting this in series okay so between term number seven and term number four is being connected here and later guys we're going to program this one and pay attention guys okay so in programming this is a little bit easy for those who understand but for those who didn't undergo technical school or test in our country uh, you find a little bit uh, difficulties understanding what I'm saying here okay uh, this is not part of our subject in the technical school so you you may learn this guys from your fellow or you can learn this by yourself by understanding the program and by working on it for years so I just plug in guys the uh, power supply for our control and I'm gonna open this one and start to program it and it is equipped with the hard copy manual guys so this is available in the internet if you want to up, uh, if you want to download this just uh, google it okay just google the uh, xr30cx and download it so you have it in your cell phone with your laptop okay here the circle guys is the only one you're gonna program one is the set this is this lowest set point next is the hy differential ls us and followed by the defrost guys and the defrost doesn't have a physical defrost but it has for the xr 36 cx it has a program for the defrost and the purpose of this guys is that the compressor stop while in defrost but it doesn't have an output relay for the defrost so this is the advantage of Dixel xr 36 it has a defrost but it doesn't have a defrost for the heater that's why it is only intended for a chiller setting okay let's power it on and let's start guys by programming okay to okay the compressor is now being activated but look my room temperature is read 33.9 degrees celsius here in my place now to uh this this is the set point okay so i'm trying to uh, adjust the set point guys to adjust the set point guys just press the set button for about uh, three seconds and it will appear and it 33.9 is the room temperature 
so to enter the parameter just set the just press the set and arrow down bottom for three seconds to enter the hidden parameter just enter the set and arrow down bottom for seven seconds and we are now in hidden parameter uh, and all the parameter is being stored here so i'm gonna set press the set button and i'm going to uh, change the uh, set button the differential to uh, three uh, no the ls guys i'm going to change the ls ls is the lowest set point and what is is stored here as a default is negative 50 so i'm going to change that to ls is i'm going to change that to positive one degree celsius okay positive one so just press the up button to uh, set it to positive one okay the set point guys is set to positive one so hy guys is set to uh, positive three and the default is positive two okay the the differential guys is this one is the cut in cut off of, of our compressor okay okay zero another another let's proceed to one degree celsius that it that's it now i set it to positive one and don't forget to press the set button to memorize guys okay now if you notice guys that my set point is one and my ls is one they are the same okay now let's proceed to the us and us guys is the maximum set set point okay and the um, default is positive 110 and let's reduce that guys to positive 4 okay to do that just press the arrow down button and let's set it to positive 4 okay do we need to change the ls and us yes you need to change it okay some unscrupulous technician they don't uh, change this one what they gonna do is they only set the set point for example the set point is one degree celsius and they are now proceed to the differential which is the hy if they want four they can put four so they uh, don't mind them now ot guys is for the um, calibration okay and let's proceed to okay idf guys stand for the frost cycle okay and what is stored here is the default is eight so we're gonna change that to six okay so in 24 hours our unit will defrost every four hours and the duration is 20 minutes and we're gonna change that guys but if you want 20 minutes no problem if you want 30 minutes no problem so even though our our um, dixel xr30cx doesn't equip with defrost heater but because it has a program so we need to enter it okay let's enter a value so the unit will defrost every four hour and after that four hour it has a duration for uh, four hours and if you want 20 minutes no problem if you want uh, 15 minutes no problem also because we are only in between one degree celsius to four degree celsius but take note guys the sensor sometimes got problem so that's why we need to uh, encode the value here okay and we need to store some value on it so you should learn how to 
uh, program this one guys now you should adjust if for example your your um, your store is busy so you need to adjust this uh, setting okay I just show you guys that this compressor is not being activated and I inserted my here I inserted my test pen here and it's light up there okay so compressor is now being activated if you want to uh, run the compressor with evaporator fan motor no problem just connect them in series but as I've said a while ago just use contactor with relay okay so I hope that is being tackled now so I just show you guys on how to uh, connect the compressor with the evaporator fan motor okay so here the terminal we have two wires here and of course it is a three wires the three wires is for the, the third wire is for the ground okay and this one this is the live i'm going to connect that to the terminal number five of this control and the other one is the neutral okay now here's our evaporator it has a fan motor of course okay this is the fan blade and it has a wire here uh, the other one is neutral just connect that in neutral and the other one is live so just connect that in series with the terminal number five and you're all done now this is compressor and this is the evaporator fan motor now for bigger guys for example walking chiller that is a tunnel two tunnel five tunnel 20 tunnel no problem you can use this for walking chiller just use contactor with overload okay and for walking chiller it normally close you can use that for the evaporator fan motor if you want normally close okay so i hope guys you learned something today for the new technician out there thank you for watching if you want to follow me guys please subscribe if you have a question comment it down Yeah. <laughs>